Hello everyone, this is Victor Momo and in this video, I want to show you how to use the hyperlink function and command prompt to uh, create a hyperlink to every subfolder in a folder, right? The command prompt only comes in in the part of extracting the names of all the subfolders. Of course, there are other ways to do it, like, uh, you know, VBA, but if you don't want to go the route of VBA, the command prompt is like, you know, a very easy way to extract all the names of all the folders or files, you know, in or subfolders of files in a folder. But for now, I'm focusing on subfolders. Let me show you what's going on here. I have a primary folder. This could be any folder, but for now, I'm using, you know, my D drive. And this is the folder here. What I want to do is I want to extract the names of all these folders, components, all the way to virtualization. I want to create hyperlinks to all of them so that when I click on them here in Excel, it will open the corresponding folder. A use case um, that I've seen was when someone asked me, they had, um, you know, like a primary folder, like an employee folder, and every, um, you know, employee had a subfolder underneath that. So if they had 200 employees, they had 200 subfolders here. So they wanted a situation where with each employee's name, they had the link to his folder here. Once you click the link, it opens the folder. You can create, you know, the hyperlink by going the control key route, browsing to the folder, doing OK. But now if you have 200 or 300 people, you really don't want to be doing that. If it's in the same folder, you know, primary folder, it's easy to fix using the hyperlink function. So what I want to do, first of all, is to extract the names of all those folders from command prompt. OK, so uh, you press Windows R, which is run CMD to open command. The command window is not necessarily different from, you know, navigating here. Some people see it like a, a strange black box, no pun intended. So what I'm going to do first of all is to navigate to my folder of interest, which is D column. Okay, so now I'm in the D drive, just like I am here. If you use the command DIR, it's going to list all the folders and files in this folder, the D drive, more or less for you. Now, if you look through, you can compare. You will see components. You see DaVinci, the .exe and .zip are these two files here. You can see your file list and file list. You see them here. And you see all other folders. So what I'm seeing here is exactly what I'm seeing here. So the command prompt is really just maybe viewing like a back-end view, if you may. Okay? So now what I want to do is I want to extract just the names of what the folders. I don't need the files. So I have to look for ways to extract just the names of the folders and not the files one. And I don't need all these other properties, you know, the time, maybe last date modified, the sizes. I just need the names. So there are a couple of switches you can use, but this is not a video on command prompt, but you know, it's kind of interesting. So, well, I know what to do already, but I'll just show you how I arrive at, at that point. So you can cheat by checking the switches that exist for your DIR. So you know DIR will list your directories. You do a space, slash, and question mark. That's like asking what, you know, options do I have? When you press enter, you'll see a lot of switches, huh? but they tell you what they mean. So first of all, you know, you will see that if you have a slash A with a D, that would give you, you know, files with, you know, its attributes. The D would then list only directories. So that's one thing that you probably need. That will help you to get rid of files and leave just through what folder. So I can do something like what? D-I-R space slash. I'll do A-D. Huh? So now you can see that I have only directories but no files. So all these files, .xls, .xls, .xd are gone. But I have two other folders that I don't see here. Here, Those are either hidden folders or system folders. You can see this recycle bin. Huh? You know, you can't see it here. At least that's one thing for sure. So you can check again. You will see another switch if you look well. There's a switch for, you know, hidden files. So if you put just H, that would include hidden files. But if you add the minus, they said prefix meaning not. So if you add a minus, it means non-hidden files. So since I know that file is hidden and I want just hidden and uh, non-hidden files, I will do the DIR again. I will do slash AD. I will do minus H. Huh? Oh, I think it's the yeah, space. So now you can see that that recycle bin is gone and I have just what I want. 
but this still lists all the properties along with it. Okay, so I need a switch that helps me to just get just the names. Someone is like, wow, this is really command promptish. It's fine. <laughs> Let me just show you what you need. When you look here, you will see slash b. Slash b is just what bare format. So with this format, it just gives you the names. It doesn't bother with the other properties. So don't worry if you watch it once, you get what I have just done. Slash a d. I do a minus h so that it is non-hidden. Then I do a slash b. Now you see the difference. The difference now is that it just gives me just the names of the folders. I just copy them quickly. I can export it to Excel. I can export it to a text file. I can do anything, but that's good enough for me. And I do what control V. So these are the list of the folders. Someone's like, oh, that's too long. Well, that's long because I explained it. If I just did it, it's just a few seconds. And if you had 300 folders, you get the names of all of them straight up like this. So now I want to create a hyperlink to each of them. And for this, I'll take advantage of the hyperlink function to create that hyperlink. Okay. So I'm just going to do hyperlink. That's a function called hyperlink, most of us. Maybe no, maybe don't know. So there's the hyperlink feature, there's the hyperlink function. So the link location, what's the link? If you remember my folder here, if you go into this guy here, the path is what? D slash components. That's really what it is. The next one is D slash, you know, DaVinci and all that. Okay. So for this portion here, the link location is just concatenating this with what? With the name. Of the folder that's what it is right the friendly name is the name you want to be displayed in the um, in the cell for this i can say okay just display the name of the folder if it was an employee name i would want the employee name displayed this is really all i need the only thing i need to do here is because i know this formula will be filled down and everybody is taking its roots from what this d column slash i need to make this absolute so that everybody references what that directory this could have been any other directory. It doesn't have to be D. I mean, I just did that, you know, for maybe simplicity. Okay. Control enter and then you double click to go down. So now we've created hyperlinks to all these folders. If there were 1000 with just this, we've created 1000 hyperlinks rather than going to control key and pointing, you know, to 1000 folders back and forth. So let's test them. Just click components. Okay. You see it opens the components folder. Click this. See, it opens. Let's just test one last one. New thing. Okay, and you see it. So, with just a few, you know, clicks. Yes, a few clicks. Excuse everything I explained in command prompt. It's still a few clicks. <laughs> with just that and the hyperlink function, you can create, you know, hyperlinks to, you know, um, what folders and to every subfolder in. A folder, like I said, they have seen a use case for it. It's, I know there are cases where you can use it, but I used it particularly to solve that problem where they had 200 employees, each one having a folder, you know, and we wanted to create a hyperlink to all of them. So I just used the hyperlink function, got the name of the primary directory, and concatenated that with, you know, the employee name, since that was the name they used for, you know, the folder. And that worked pretty easy. Okay, so that's where this video is going to end. Just something short and sweet, in my opinion. So if you like what you see, hit the like button. You can also subscribe, you know, to the channel, Excel Moments, um, till we come back with one very interesting video. Um, I want you to keep safe. Is there something else I want to say? Um, for this, we could actually make this more dynamic, you know, have a way of listing um, putting the directory in here and then listing the, um, what's it called, the folders, but that will be for another video. So I think I'll just leave this one here. I'm out.